19th of July 2022. Look at the the breeze. This is summer. This is not even winter yet. And la last winter that was really stormy. 2021 to 2022. This is Queen's Road, Aberdeen. Look at the trees blowing. Summer, July, midsummer. If you watch TV, sometimes murders happen in midsummer. That's midsummer murders on ITV. But just look here. Actually, it's the weather and the climate that's the greater risk. This is Aberdeen, Queen's Road, midsummer, 19th of July. And I, I've stopped here because actually, just look at the trees. It caught my attention. You know, observations are best picked up when you share video. Other people can be informed. But I mean, you've got to keep embracing active travel. And I mean, the women of the media, they're not really doing much to help, putting out these print publications and newspapers. It's really, it's not visual, not visual information. I mean, just look here, this is actually 19th of July, 2022. It's a Tuesday. You know, the state of this wind is actually alarming me for midsummer. This is not winter yet. There's going to be more strong winds coming this winter. So really, jobs and environmental services and really clearing debris is the future. But I mean, there's not many jobs advertised with Aberdeen City Council or Aberdeenshire Council for that matter in environmental services. Digital services are also the future. You know, actually, the dig digital world is quite a comfortable world. But actually, people still like to go outside. This is mental health. And actually, mobile smartphones and tablets, mobile devices enable video capture, video and photo capture, and also help in an emergency, 999. And you've got to bear in mind surgeons that conduct operations, there's lots of them involved. They work in teams, all scrutinising the actions of each other. This is accountability. Three minutes been shooting video. It's breezy here. This is Queen's Road. And actually, there's a sign here. Really a sign. It's for the hill. The Farber's Grade A offices to let. You can rent offices at Rubus Law Quaggy. Rubus Law Quaggy, that's a deep water port, ideal for training astronauts. I mean, there's just water in Rubus Law Quaggy now, but it used to be granite. The city of Aberdeen was built from Rubus Law Quaggy. Allegedly. But maybe it couldn't have all come from the Quaggy, surely. The whole city, home to over 200,000 people. I struggle to believe the entire city of Aberdeen was built out of Rubus Law Quarry. I mean, some of the granite actually went, it gets exported and goes to other countries. Used to build the Red Square in Moscow, actually. So, perhaps just perhaps Aberdeen is not all from Ruby's Law Quaggy. Quaggy's often involve slate. Slate, chalk, quaggies, it's all related, it's all industrial. Industrial heavy duty. People in times gone by must have really endured hard times, breathed in asbestos. And I mean, Fires in London today. And this is Aberdeen, Queen's Road. In the evening, 19th of July, 2022. This is a, someone's garden, someone's home.
five minutes is a good length for a video to really show dramatic wind. You know, wind sometimes can obscure what's said on video sound, but modern day smartphones also have amplification built in. Amplification built in from pulse code modulation, analog to digital conversion. And I mean, most instruments actually used by the NHS and Grampian, they're analog using oscilloscopes and equipment that project sine waves. Sine waves is very much analog, analog. And I mean, the X-ray invented the turn of the 20th century. The Stogie of Electricity from the BBC, also available on YouTube. Benjamin Franklin, first to develop electricity, then Michael Faraday. And don't forget Thomas Edison, the man who invented the light bulb. Really, he symbolises learning achievement in young children, minds lighting up. You know, I don't know if you'll understand this video with all the wind. This is not really a sheltered spot. You can see the dramatic wind. Sometimes seeing is believing when audio can't be picked up. Oh, seven minutes been shooting video. Video really shows time. Time moving. Disappearing. Moving on forward, marching on forward. And I mean the tide. Time and tide stand still for no man. Tide, tide, wave all power. Wave power? Oh, that's big potential. Stephen Salter, inventor of the Salter Duck. Wave power, father of wave power. Wave power is renewable energy, but it's not really, not really harnessed very well. Maybe big potential, or maybe not. Still, wave, wind, fusion energy, all in the mix, nuclear energy. Oh, it all helps. Keeps digital devices connected. There's wave, wind, nuclear, there's the fossil fuels, coal, gas. What have I missed? Well, there's... Well, hydrogen produces water vapour out of cars. There's electric cars coming. What else have I missed? There's solar power from the sun. Now, there's other forms as well, actually. Biodiesel. Red diesel. Now that's the stuff of truckers. The stuff on the black market. What else is there? Time to leave. You know, sometimes filming, actually moving along is useful because staying in one spot really is better with motion, but it's also challenging. Sometimes you need to move the camera. But there's video editing. But I mean, the camera wasn't really down for that long. This is not that dramatic. Tall trees. But anyway, still, what other forms of energy are there? There's solar power. There are others. There's, there's the water one. What's it called again? There is an energy power... No, I know there's 
hydroelectric. But that's not that's not actually the water one I was thinking of. Hydroelectric dams. But wait a minute, there's another one. There's a lot of energy in the mix. There is another one. It's based on water, actually. There's a whole raft of energy solutions. Some fossil fuels, some sustainable, renewable energy. I mean, you can use mobile data to look up information. But actually, if I think about it, it might come back to me. But it's not coming. Now, there's another one beside hydroelectric. Anyway, you can look it up on the internet. But I mean, the ability to look up stuff, information on the internet using mobile data and shoot video would be advantageous, useful. Twenty eighth of July, twenty twenty two. Well, actually, it's half past three. You've got to ask the question: Why do people cause trouble? Nothing to do. No fulfilling vacation. I mean, this is a genuine point, but actually. A lot happens outside. But I mean, video capture, you've got to interact with digital devices. And some people can find it really frustrating. Is this why video capture outside is not widespread? So people go around causing trouble. Lack of digital skills education. Well, that might be one reason. But there's information outside. And some people really do put effort into their gardens. This is King's Wells. A nice area to live. A modern settlement. Dog at the window, look. Talk about fulfilling vacations. Some people look after pets. Pets? Other people leave them home alone. Dogs in their house, barking, off to work. But this dog, this is obedient. Looking out the window, steering, nothing to do. You know, this harks back to having a fulfilling vacation. I mean, the dogs don't do anything either. Well, some of them work actually. There's working dogs like guide dogs. And then there's sniffer dogs for drugs. Drugs, a prolific problem. Ever since really 1842 and the Opium Wars and Britain took over Hong Kong. I mean, nothing to do. People need a fulfilling vacation. Most people are paid actually. But I mean, perhaps, just perhaps, when you're not paid, you might appreciate life more. And just perhaps, you can still do a lot with digital technology, with the right skills and training. What really is going on here anyway? Why are there road cones? Is that because the road 
but the main road sweeping around Kingswell is shut. So all the traffic is coming this way. Fairly Road. Oh, actually. They're not really... The drivers here are not really taking an interest in the gardens. But I mean, this road is busier now. A detour. Aberdeen City Council hereby gives notice that parking restrictions will apply here. Offending vehicles will be towed away. 4 a.m. 25th of July 2022 to 5 o'clock 31st of July 2022. So that's a nightmare for the residents. That's now. That's just now. The residents aren't allowed to park for all these detours. It's the main road, sweeping, sweeping road round Kingswell. It's shut. Road surfacing works. The result is all the traffic's coming this way. So no parked cars on the road. Nightmare for the residents, the local residents. In Kings Wells, Fairley Road. You know, sometimes it's better to just move on and forward into future developments, but actually. There can be a story about the past. But I mean, going back into the past involves crimes. Perhaps. More likely. And people don't like facing the past. It can bring up traumatic memories. This is really against the backdrop of older people getting forgetful. Going slower, slowing down the pace. Diverting from the rat race. Take a look around. It's good for mental health. Connect and share. The five ways to well-being. What are they again? Five things. Remembering five things. That's actually quite difficult. Most people can only remember two or three at any given time. You've got to go into information visualisation. Picturing your shopping hanging from trees. Walking to the shops. Remembering five things. What are the five ways to well-being? Well, share is one of them. As is connect. What are the others? Remembering. Remembering and forgetting. I mean, you can remember more with digital devices. And actually there's a hole here. This is water treatment works actually. It's the pipes under the road. This is not fiber optic cabling. I mean, the, I mean, it's just a small strip. This looks more like water pipes. What is going on here? In fact, that's probably a water pipe there, look. Perhaps. Is that a pipe? Well, it's not a fibre optic cable. What do they look like? No, they're orange, actually. The cables are orange. Quite thick. They've got strange connectors out of the end. Difficult to terminate, actually. Need specialist network engineers. 
And that's a water pipe. Rocks. This is the not a pile of earth. Actually, what what what's obvious here is there's no workmen, and it's Thursday, Thursday afternoon, between three thirty and four p.m. It's not even Friday, and on Friday people knock off work at four p.m. in Aberdeen. This is Kings Wells by Denview Wind. This is what it looks like. You can make efficient progress on a bike heading into Aberdeen. More and more people are going to be taking the bikes actually. There's really a, a growth area for electric bikes because of the move to electrification and electric vehicles. They're expensive. Just look at Peter Vardy. Better value for money to buy an electric van. That's the business discount. Entrepreneurial, having entrepreneurial flair. Being proactive, starting businesses, startup companies. I mean, really, you'd be better doing a startup company based on technology. Help people to use electric vehicles. I mean, this is a growth area. Actually, the people that make predictions could be opposed at the present time. But I mean, recording them in video, when you look back in 20 years time, you might see who was right. And also you might see who's still alive. The people that make the right predictions might still be alive. Or maybe not. That's the cattle farmer. 5th of August, 2022. Five. Un, deux, trois, quatre, or cinq. Oh, that's cinq, it's five in French. Can you count to French? Count into ten. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Wheat, nif, dies. That's counting to ten in French. French from the countryside, along from Skeen Primary. You've got to think other languages, teach the children foreign languages, and link it to their school, Skeen Primary. Show them what's happening outside. This is geographical, geospatial awareness. You can see the cows here, look. The farmer at work. Un, du, toi, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, uns, deux, counting to twelve. Well, twelve's, twelve's what you need actually for the base twelve system. Or twelve times table. That's useful. 
useful in computing. So is the base 16 system, hexadecimal. You also need to know binary, zeros and ones. You also need to know, you know, there's a mobile data signal out here. But here's the issue. 3G, the range is 45 miles. So that's why I can't see a mast. I can't see any 3G masts. The range comes down with 4G, down to 10 miles. And it comes down again to a thousand feet with 5G. So you need 5G masts everywhere. And actually the UK Parliament has actually made it possible to erect 5G masts anywhere without planning permission. The UK Parliament is visionary. They look ahead. So that's one thing. If you want faster mobile data, you need lots of 5G masts throughout the countryside. You need the farmers on board. And mobile 5G masts are going to disrupt these sheep grazing. But actually, you need subsidies to the farmers. They also need to be motivated to grow more crops. And then still support whiskey with the hay bale harvest during the summer. It's all coming together now. So for more 5G mass, for mobile data everywhere, they need to be Rain, the range is a thousand feet. I mean, as speed goes up, think about it. Speed goes up. For faster speed, the masks need to be everywhere because there's latency and delay. Well, the purpose of life, oh, it's all coming together now. Or maybe not. You know, it's tranquil here, just enjoying life. Is that why people with autism like sheep, sheep and cows, they may watch cartoons, but there's hidden messages to teach. I mean, those with autism, perhaps non-verbal, they might get frustrated when they see other people not having the same difficulties. Even the cows want to get noticed. You probably heard that on video before I turned round. They've really come at me. Come to the fence. And I am on the opposite side of the road. Look at the road here. And these farmers, they've got a hard job. This is farming. Farming, and you've got to consider France. There's farms all over the place. 70% nuclear power. EDF energy. France is a land of agriculture. And France, Germany, with their vineyards, and then the National Farmers Union in Britain, they all compete for a share of, a share of the pie, a share of the, the funds, the sources of revenue. And Britain has left the, the European Union Was leaving a good idea? There wasn't a case made. Britain just came out all of a sudden. Start of 2020. Where were the arguments put forward? I mean, there was a referendum in 2016. But it didn't talk about agriculture, really. What farmers endure? These cows are angry. You need to think about the farmers. They use tractors, they go into fields with cows. A cow can kill a man. Farmers have shotguns, but they tend not to have shotguns in their driver's cab. These cows are angry. They like life. 
they like living. But still, they got also meat and food. And actually, go look at the animal kingdom. All these animals feed on each other. Predators. That's the food chain. Actually, cannibalism. Drinking blood of humans is, is not really considered nice. Well, the cows have shifted. And the sheep, too. You know, you've got to... Actually, you know what actually happens in the cattle shed? Well, we don't really know. But the cows are out here. Well, they get milked. But there's no, vid no videos of really cows being milked. No one really documents it. What goes on in a working farm? And then there's the farm at Myrtle, Mill Timber. The, the working farm catering for people with special needs. Farms really are the bedrock of Aberdeenshire. These farmers, who pays them attention? Well, it's not these BBC News journalists. Not really. We don't know what they do. What goes on in the newsroom? That's interesting. What really happens? What goes on behind the scenes in workplaces? Well, it's actually likely swearing. I mean, the term bitch actually came from women swearing. This is language and how it's progressed, and it's documented in the Oxford English Dictionary. Some people do put new words in. A lexicon. Oh, these cows. Oh, they're angry. That's the benefit of fences. But, I mean, people erect fences around their homes, and it's not these see-through ones. It's these wooden ones with planks that you can't see through. That's privacy. Oh, these cows. Standing up for farmers in Aberdeenshire, along from Skeen Primary, where there's no... Actually, 3G masts, but there is mobile data connectivity. Mobile 3G masts, a distance of 45 miles. 4G, let's say it again, 10 miles. 5G, it's got to be every 1,000 feet. The future is digital. Digital connectivity in the palm of your hand. I mean, really, with slower speeds and 3G more common, actually, you've got to go back home, back to base. This is restrictive, but with video shooting, it records. It records from a mobile device. This is talking. And you can churn out an awful lot of video, but then you've got algorithms to consider and data compression. What goes on behind the scenes to upload videos and creating websites? The whole digital ecosystem.